Greetings, why don't you comic book readers out there? I'm Mike from Comic Frontline here, and welcome everybody to my dual comic review. Before I get into the two comic books that I'm going to be viewing in this video, I just want to let you guys know that for the next few videos that I'll be uploading right here on Comic Frontline, these comic books I'll be reviewing are going to be reviewed late due to the fact that mail services were slow, we just got over Thanksgiving, and the third thing was kind of my fault because I thought that the comic books were going to come the day after, but it came a day early. So, things happen here and there, but I got all my books, so I thought it's the right time to do the video of this. So, in this dual comic review, I'm reviewing two comic books from the same ish company. On this side, we have, from all new, all different Marvel, The Punisher War Machine. Issue number 218, this is a Marvel Legacy tie-in, lenticular cover. And on this side, for Marvel Max Comics, Punch of the Platoon, issue number 3. And I got some things to say about this issue right here, but we'll save that for after. So, let's go into the Punisher War Machine, issue number 218. Now, I was a little bit concerned about this book because I thought Punisher and War Machine, will that fit? And will this make my, you know, my reading great for this? Well, here's the regular cover, by the way, if you couldn't see the lenticular cover of that. And since it's the first time I'm doing the Punisher War Machine, I will say who the writer and the artist is by. Writer is by Matthew Rosenberg, and the artist is by Guyu Villanova. Hopefully I said your name's right. If not, I do apologize. So, starts off like any regular Punisher comic book where he goes out and he takes out these uh, people who are doing things that the Punisher doesn't like. And, of course, they punish his things. But it didn't say that it was um, explicit content on the cover or anything. At least, I don't think it said that. No. So, because there was... Uh, explicit content here so I'm going to just show you guys preview artwork the not violent one and the artwork is uh, really good in this comic book so after he does his duty he meets up with Nick Fury so why does Nick Fury meet up with the Punisher he has a mission for the Punisher which actually deals with uh, kids and we all know that Frank Castle is uh, you know, super affected by that because his wife and his children died, so he takes this into uh, consideration to uh, do that. So he, so Nick Fear talks about, you know, the guys that he has uh, taken out earlier, and uh, his option was the shield to do the dirty work of that, but since Frank Castle is more about killing, this mission that he wants Frank Castle to do is to not kill in a sort of way. So he has to like hide in, uh, to go into this facility and with two rules, no killing on a snatch and grab for that. And second, that if he gets spotted, that he should just get the hell out of there and because he doesn't want him to get risk of being caught and whatnot. So when Frank Castle goes into this laboratory, he smiles. And this right here was really awesome because this reminded me of the Iron Man movie when Tony Stark got the uh, suit that he made to fight off against the terrorists. Let's just say that this one was clearly almost the same thing, but instead he just flies off with the war machine. Because Nick Fury said, as the mission is over, the suit has to go back to him. And Frank Castle was like saying, I don't think so. I mean, he did say something else, but I'm not going to say it. But, uh, oh boy, that's going to be uh, something else with this comic book. So I really enjoy this. That's to be continued. Here is the next cover, or well, preview cover, for the Punisher War Machine, for that. So, and then they give a Punisher story, like in every Marvel XC time, they give a background story of a superhero and how, or anti-hero, and how they got their powers and whatnot, so yeah. So this one was really awesome. I'm really glad that um, this comic book really uh, got my interest. So I will be picking up next issue. Rand gift for this is between a 4 to 4.5 out of 5. Great story. And great artwork as well, so this is something I'll be definitely holding on to and review right here on Comic Frontline. Now this next one from Marvel Max Comics, Punisher the Platoon issue number 3. Is it just me or am I getting a little bit tired and bored of 
what do I care what Frank Castle did as a Marine? Because that's really what I've been seeing. Oh, and it's also, by the way, before I continue, explicit content right over here. So it's not for kids, but I will show artwork that is not bloody or gory. So it's the same guys that are around the table that are talking about, you know, his uh, mission and stuff that he had to do as a Marine. And they're just fighting off against uh, the people that are against them, which we found out in the last issue. And uh, LT was kind of the uh, focal point of this issue, which I believe is Frank Castle's code name. So here's some artwork, which is pretty good artwork. And uh, Robbie and uh, LT, they go to uh, the guy that's uh, asking them about, um, you know, that he wants them to go get something at the warehouse in Da Nang. And uh, with all those rifles, he wants them to uh, try to get um, all of them and to bring it back and stuff like that. It's like a long, boring thing like that, but that's what I got from when I read that. So, as the uh, brother Kong and... Um, so the guy, I can't remember what his name is. Why can't I remember his name for the life of me? Like, they have a talk. And also, uh, sister comes in with her things about, you know, how she uh, should be fine with her comrades in the South, but no one was permitted to travel and stuff like that. And how Americans caused so much devastation that she wants to be part of uh, this war and whatnot. And her mission is to kill the Americans. So with that... Uh, it's from here on. I just see like heavy dialogue and what they're gonna be doing as they're fighting. Like, the, like from the first page, it gets to right here where they're at this base, uh, shooting and stuff like that. And with that, uh, well, let's just say that there was a bullseye that uh, LT gave to uh, the uh, to the other side, and that's to be continued. In the next issue, so here's next before preview and stuff, so there's for that. Now, I really don't know what to rate it, but I have to give this a rating because I don't know if it's just me or if this marine story is kind of not getting my interest, so I hate to say this, but... I gotta give this comic grain between a 2.5 to 3 out of 5. The only reason I give it up to a 3 is because the artwork is good. But the only reason why I lower it a little bit is because the story, I just don't see, like, what the point is of saying that the platoon was the Marine that Frank Castle served in, or LT, whatever his name was when he was in it. So, I don't know. I'm going to give it two more issues, but if I don't see any progress or interest, I'm guessing that me and Punisher the Platoon have to go separate ways. So, in this review, War Machine outbeats Punisher the Platoon, and uh, that really says a lot for that. Because I enjoyed the Platoon in the beginning, now it's getting a little... It might improve, so we'll find out next issue. But with that, everybody, that's my dual comic review of the Punisher War Machine and Punisher... Uh, wait, Punish, The Punisher War Machine, issue number 218, and Punisher The Platoon, issue number 3, sorry, I just got a little lost there. Before I go, don't get checked, source of comicfine.com, so of podcast.com, YouTube Game Channel for Online Gaming Zone, we're all your number one source for comic related news, views, and games, of all that and a bunch more. Feel free to leave comments in the comments section about your thoughts, do you think this was better than this, or vice versa, the same, what have you, say in the comments section, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. As always, please feel free to subscribe to our channel as we try, at least in my perspective, try to upload the comics that uh, we try to, that we read each and every week and to give to you guys for that. So don't you comp agree is out there, Mike Comfrey saying take care and as always, don't forget to keep watching. Later everybody.